is uh, Matt Appleman. He lives in uh, Minnesota. He used to be a bike racer. He got injured. And he started building yeah, very handmade. And, and you got it in uh, Minnesota. And the year is 2016. 2016. Yeah. He said I'm the first in Missouri to have one made. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, he makes them all over the world. Okay. People order them from everywhere. Everywhere, all over the world. More. Yes, yes. Yeah. Now, this is uh, Appleman. Matt Appleman. He lives in uh, Minnesota. He used to be a bike racer and he got injured. And he started building. He started doing it. He goes, I might as well just make bikes. And that's the name Appleman. and the logo they use. And this is paper thin titanium. Paper thin and titanium. Since his name is Appleman, apple. he put an apple in the front. Yeah. And he put apple. It's got an apple on each side. It's unique. Yeah, it's very handmade. Unique. And and you got it in uh, Minnesota. The, and the year is 2016. 2016. He puts. Can you read that on the bottom? Where right there? Uh huh. Let me zoom in on it and yeah. take a picture of it. Also, it's hand signed. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah. That could be a collector's item one day. I'll never get rid of it. Yeah. He said, I'm the first in Missouri to have one made. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, he makes them all over the world. Okay. People order them from everywhere. Everywhere, all over the world, yeah. Yeah. And then I got the total electronic shifting, which I really, really like. It is electronic shifting. Yes. From 2017, that was one of the first ones. So, what's so cool about the SRAM versus the Shimano electronic shifting, which they're both really good. Mm -hmm. The Shimano has a, a, a battery that goes into the tube here. Okay. So if your battery goes dead, you can't shift front or back. Front or back. Right. But with, Shimano, with SRAM, it has the battery on the front derailleur and on the rear derailleur. So if one battery goes bad, you can switch it and make it home. Easy to pop it. Oh yeah. Have you not seen it before? Never did. I'll, I'll zoom in on it. Oh, that's so cool. I get about three weeks on a charge. And you charge it with a USB type yeah. port. And uh, the front always goes, is it the front? No, the back goes before the front. Because you're using it more. Yes, yes. Yeah. Now, are you having good luck with that sprocket? Because I've never seen a sprocket quite like it. What, this one here? Yeah, it looks, it looks this is original. A, it, it's the it's SRAM. It has a power meter on it. This is a battery in here and shows your power and your cadence and all that stuff. Man, you got it going on. I'll look it up. I'll add to this video. This video will go up on YouTube and you'll be able to find it when you go to my channel. Oh, okay. I'm Buddy B U D D Y Huggins, H U G G I N S. If you can't remember that, remember Ozark Mill updates. Johnny Morris. I did all the video and before he even moved the building. Oh, did you? Yeah. At the very beginning of construction. But I, I ride a bike and I love talking yeah. to people about it. I like the rims, so the rims are unique to him. I bought the, I've had these a long time. The, they're in the MB and the, uh, the hubs are uh, 240s. They're called uh, DT Swiss 240s. Okay. Uh, I replaced the bearings on them once and I replaced them with Phil Wood bearings. Best bearings I think ever made. I probably got 30,000 miles on the tub. Wow. Yeah, it's really cool. It's a beautiful bike. Thank you. Thank One you. The best things I ever bought though. That rear view? Rear, uh, rear radar. Okay, up. radar so you can feel it coming up behind it you. It shows me cars approaching. Yeah. I can't ride without them. Yeah. All right, I'll talk to you uh, when I see you. All right. Thank you. Maybe we'll see you on the road. Yep.